There you are. Already hard at work, I see. I apologize for arriving home so late. My last patrol didn't exactly go the way I expected. But not to worry. Everything is perfectly fine now. There was some trouble just up the street. And I promised you I would do everything I could to keep you safe, my love. If this keeps up, it might be worth it if we finally consider moving. <sighs> I see you've been hard at work while I'm away. That parfait looks incredible! I'm sure everyone will really enjoy it at the holiday party. I do recall the gingerbread people you made for the holiday party last year. They were exquisitely decorated with the likenesses of all our friends. Everyone loved them, especially some of our more self-obsessed friends. Not that that's a bad thing. I admire how much self-confidence many of them have. I know Ayama kept his right up until it was almost spoiled. <laughs> that's how much he appreciated your work. It will be nice to see everyone again, don't you think? I would like to talk to Midoriya more about the work he's been doing. Specifically the team-up he did recently with Bakugo. The two work together quite well in my opinion. A far cry from their petty arguments in high school. Of course. I'm proud of all my old classmates. Each and every one of them has become great heroes and accomplished exactly what they set out to do. Now, I believe we were meant to be baking gingerbread. But I'm afraid I may have to leave that to you, my love. I've never exactly... had the time to do much baking before. Certainly not in my youth. I did make a chocolate cake for my brother once. With the help of my mother. Though, after the second or third time I burnt it... I was banned from the kitchen. <laughs> she still let me lick the bowl, though. And when we gave the cake to my brother, she never said a word of my many failures. Perhaps now you can teach me. I would like that very much, thank you. In fact... I greatly admire your incredible baking skills, and would love to go on this new adventure with you. You're so patient and kind, my love. In fact, it was your patience and kindness that drew me to you in the first place. Of course, I fell in love with every aspect of your personality. And every day I fall a little harder. Now... Where do we start? I see you have everything set out. Is there anything you would like me to do? Okay. I think I can handle that. Now, the recipe card here says three and a half cups of flour. Does that sound like enough? Please don't laugh at me, my love. You said to measure and mix the dry ingredients, so that's what I'm doing. I just want to double-check that everything is correct. I know that you rarely follow recipes, so I just wanted to ask for some advice. <sighs> my apologies. It would seem I am still a little on edge from my patrol. I really am worried for your safety, my love. I am well aware that you are more than capable of taking care of yourself. And I commend you for it. I really do. I am very proud of how far you have come. However, if there is crime starting up in this neighborhood, I would rather us not take any chances. <clears throat> All right. 
That should be enough flour. What's next? The brown sugar or the spices? Hmm. There are a lot more spices in this recipe than I thought. I believed gingerbread cookies would only have ginger. But it says here to also add allspice, cinnamon, and cloves. How interesting! I really am learning all kinds of new things from this experience. How exciting! I've always wondered what exactly is an allspice. I've seen my mother use it while baking, but I suppose I've always been rather curious about it. Do you know what's in it, my love? That's all right. We can always use the internet to search for the answer later. Now, a three-quarter cup of brown sugar. Would that count as a dry ingredient, given that it always remains somewhat moist? <laughs> okay, I'll add that now then. Well, everything looks like it's coming together quite well now. How's the wet mixture coming along, my love? Are we ready to add everything together? Oh, of course. The salt and the baking soda. How could I forget? Well, let's class that as a silly mistake that's easily solved. Could you pass me the container of baking soda, please? Thank you. Ugh. Wow, that lid is really on there. Just one moment, my love, and then we can add the wet and dry mixes together. Oh! My apologies. I seem to have created quite the mess here. I must have used more force than necessary, and I lost my grip on the container. I was unaware it was a full container, and I apologize for creating such waste. Now we have to hold off on finishing baking until we can go to the store to replace the baking soda. I appear to be covered in baking soda. Which, if I may admit, is certainly less than ideal. Are you sure? I am the one who made the mess. So it is my responsibility to clean it up. I can't have you taking on a responsibility that is not your own. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll relent. Upon your insistence, I will go for a shower and allow you to clean up here. When I return, I will go out to buy some more baking soda, and we can continue this recipe. I'm sure that in the end, we can create some delicious gingerbread together. Mmm, that smells amazing! I'm glad we were able to make these together. Now, if you would like to spend some more time together, you should subscribe to the channel. And if you're one of our adult fans, be sure to check out patreon.com slash anagomi. Or you can order your own personal audio at anagomi.com slash commissions. Now, Hopefully we can decorate these without any more incidents. Happy Holidays!